Hello and welcome to Color Up. Hopefully you know that the six and the eight are the most common numbers to be rolled besides the big red or the seven. So what if we took all of our bets and funneled them to the six and eight that are most likely to hit and then pull down profits from the six and eight? Is this a great strategy? Well, in today's Dice Advice series, we're gonna check it out and see if it is. So today's strategy was submitted to me by Left for Red, and he likes to call this the hungry six and eight. Because what we're gonna do is anything we win, we're gonna feed the six and eight and press it up. So what we're gonna do is go across on all of our numbers with the table minimum. In this case, we're looking at a $10 table minimum. So we got 64 across. Now, anything that rolls, we're gonna use that money to press up the six and eight. If the six and eight roll, we're just gonna collect. So for instance, the five rolls, that's gonna pay us $14. We're gonna use that money to press the six and eight up a unit. We got $18 bets and we'll collect a little bit. Let's say the eight rolls, well, we'll just collect on that. $18 bet is gonna pay 21. We'll just rack that. Remember, we have initially 64 invested. Let's say the uh, four rolls. Well, $10 bet is gonna pay 18. So we have enough here. We can press these up a unit. And we're going to $24 bets, and we can rack $6. The six or eight rolls, we're gonna collect 28, but let's say it doesn't. Let's say the, uh, the nine rolls. Again, we'll get paid $14. That's enough to press our bets up. Will these bets go up to from 24 up a unit? They go to $30. We'll go ahead and collect two. The deals will change these out. Uh, I need some greens here. We got $30, six and eight. So basically any number rolls, we're gonna press the six and eight. The six and eight rolls, we're just gonna collect. We're never we're gonna regress with this strategy. Obviously you certainly could, but he suggests don't regress, just keep building the six and eight up and hopefully keep hitting the six and eight up. Hopefully at some point you've recouped your $64 and then you're in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and give this strategy a try. All right, $500 bankroll. That'll be, well, that'll just be short of 10 shooters because, you know, for me, I like to have enough for 10 shooters. We're going to be risking 64. You really should have about $640 to do that. We got $500 here, it's a common buy-in, and we'll see what happens. So we're gonna assume someone else is shooting. We'll go ahead and let them establish a point, and we'll go from there. All right, point is five, five's our point. Let's go ahead and drop our dealer 50, 65, and say 64 across, please. You get a dollar and change, and then he'll set you up. And hopefully we can recoup some money. Here we go. And we got a 10, 10 hard. That's gonna pay 18. So we have enough to press these up one unit. And we can rack a couple bucks there. We got $18 bets and here we go. Five, no field five. That's our point hit. So we're gonna win $14 for this bet. We can rack two and we're gonna go ahead and press the six and eight up. We got $24 bets, not too shabby. Puck is gonna come off. And again, I'm just gonna play with the puck. If it's off, my bets are off. You can have them working, of course, mathematically. It doesn't make a difference, but table mojo says otherwise. All right, yo 11, so still looking for a point. And we got a seven, seven on the come out. Some would say that's why you don't work to come out. And we got a 10, point is 10. All right, our bets are working, so here we go. We got 12, 12 midnight, doesn't help us. We're looking for a box number. And there it is, there's the six, six easy. $24 bet is going to win 28. We'll go ahead and just rack that because the six and eight we just collect. We need to recoup some money. Here we go. And we got a nine. All right, $14 win. Gonna rack two and we're gonna press these guys up. And this will actually take us up to $30. So we got $30 bets out here. 
And we need a, we need another win to recoup our initial investment, but that's okay. We got $30 bets working for us. Not too bad. There's the five. $10 bet. It's going to win 14 and we're going to take it up a unit. $36 bets. Again, we're banking on these where these are hungry. They're, you know, the most probability is a hit. Let's hit one. That's the name of the game. Not going to happen though. That time we got the big red. So I believe we lost a little bit on that shooter, but we were in good shape. That's part of it though. We're willing to risk $64 per shooter to see what happens. So 30 plus some uh, singles here. So we probably lost a little about 30 bucks or so. All right, new shooter. Here we go. So I'm establish a point. Coming out. And we got a five. Five is a point. Again, 50. 60 and we have some ones we could throw in the throw in the singles if we'd like 64 to the dealer And we'll get set up here Let's move these here My sloppy dealing There we go 64 in action and here we go And we've got an eight eight easy $12 bet is going to pay 14. So we're just going to collect that, get on our way to recouping our money. Let's see what happens from here. Eight, eight hard. Too bad it's not pressed up, but that's okay. Well, we'll, well, this time we'll pay out 15 for one, drop the dealer one, and just rack 15 here. There's the six. All right, we're hitting the six and eights now. Again, that'll pay 14. I'm gonna go ahead and pay 15 for one. In uh, this case, I think we're real close to recouping our 64. We got a nine. That's gonna pay 14. We're gonna ask the dealer to press our six and eight one unit each. So he'll press these guys up and you get two and change. $2 in profit. All right, here we go. And seven, rears its head, seven out. So he's gonna come down. Again, I think we were a little bit short there. All right, new shooter. Shooter's coming out, here we go. And we got a nine, nine's gonna be our point. So let's go 50, 60, $64. Four dollars set up and ready to go. Here we go. Let's make it happen. And we've got a nine point hit. So that's going to pay fourteen. We'll go ahead and press these guys up a unit. Got two dollars and change. Puck's going to go off. And we're looking for a point. Our bets are off. Six, six easy. Six is our point. And here we go, looking for that six. And there's an eight, we'll take the eight. So we got a $18 bet, that's gonna pay 21. Rack that up. I need some more change here. <clears throat> and here we go. And no, that was a quick roll. Good thing we got at least 21 there. So these are gonna come down. Puck is off. New shooter. Coming out, looking for a point. 10, 10 the hard way, 10's our point. I'll give this a few more shots. So again, 50, 60, we'll drop 64 because we have the change. Four. And here we go. Off we go. 
Oh, Cinco Dos, adios. Down they come. That was a quick, brutal one. All right, we got to give it a couple more tries after that, right? All right, here we go. We need a hot shooter here, sir. Coming out. Eight. Eight hard. Eight's our point. All right, we like that. We like that. Again, go ahead and drop the 64 to the dealer. 64 across, please. You got a bet. I got to get better at my picking. Oh, that was a disaster there. And it looks like I took 65 from the player. That's all right. Here we go. Some places they may let you buy it at 10 or auto buy it. We're just playing them, paying them out as place bets if we hit them. All right, there's the six. $12. It's going to pay 14. I'm going to go ahead and pay out 15 for one there. I'm going to drop the dealer one. And here we go. 10, 10 the hard way. So again, we're playing it as pace, place bet. So it's going to pay nine to five. So we got $18 coming to us. Dealer, press me up one unit each. So we collect a little extra there. We collect $6. And we got $18 bets working on the six and eight. There's the nine, neener nine. $10 bet. It's going to win 14. Take me up a unit, sir. Hopefully by now the dealers know what you're doing. Gonna rack just a couple bucks, but we got decent bets on that six and eight. There's the six. We'd like to see that. $24 bet. It's going to pay out 28. We're just going to rack it. Keep going. We need a decent roll here. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Seven out. Let me see how long this has been going. I think I can go a little bit longer. We had a shot there. We had a shot. I got two more greens left, so we'll we'll give it one more shot here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. And point is going to be nine. Nines are point. All right, so again, $64 to the dealer, 64 across, please. Well, they would set it back here, lay it out. I'm going to use these ones, $64. All right, here we go. We need a decent roll. See if the strategy works. Three, AC Ducey. That's not up in the box numbers. That won't help us. 12, midnight, another horn number. Again, no good. And the seven, seven out. So I don't know. Let me know what you think of the strategy. Obviously, the dice did not go in our favor this time. Um, I kind of like the strategy. That's why I played it. It's a $10 table. $64 is not unreasonable. Um, you should have, you know, if you can afford to play that type of game. But feeding the six and eight, you know, they should be hitting, but obviously things have to, the dice have to work out for you. In this case, you know, the short example, it hasn't so far, but let me know what you think. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.